Good morning, brothers and sisters, friends. My name is David Parsons. I just first of all wanted to say thank you to Socialist Alternative, to DSA, to Shama, um, and to all of you for having me. I really am honored uh, to be here with you today and uh, to encourage you to have these critical discussions. Um, I need to tell a quick story. Um, this morning when I woke up, I took a look at our union's Facebook page. We have um, advertised an event that we're hosting this, this Wednesday on campus to talk about organizing in an age of Trump. Um, and uh, Council Member Sawant has agreed to, to come and is going to be speaking. Uh, Jane McAlevey, fantastic activist, labor union organizer and author will be there. Jonathan Rosenblum, uh, longtime uh, organizer in town and just wrote a new book on the Fight for 15 will be there. We're really looking forward to this event. Uh, yeah, applaud, please. And please come. It's open to the public. It's at 5.30 in the UW Tower. Um, and uh, we, we've been getting a lot of attention for this event, as we hoped that we would. And when I woke up this morning, I noticed um, that some right-wing trolls had posted uh, Islamophobic uh, and racist imagery, texts, comments, and we had to spend part of the morning just taking those down, dealing with those people. And it just reminded me, again, of a, of a couple of, of key principles that I think we should all be keeping in mind here. Um, one is that the extent to which these uh, we call them trolls, but they deserve a far nastier epithet than that, um, are, are out there and, and react and are trying to shut us down. Uh, it's discouraging, it's hard, and it's hard for our members to see that, and it's hard for our activists to see that. But also, uh, it reminds me of, of the, the power that we have um, to, to take these communities on and to present a vision that has been far better articulated by the panelists than, than, than I can. Um, and that we don't win these fights on Facebook. We don't win these fights by getting caught in these sort of whirlpools of, of uh, Facebook chains and, 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 and internet comments. Uh, we win these fights in the workplaces and in the communities and in the classrooms and by having thousands upon thousands of one-to-one -one conversations with each other and with people who maybe haven't learned to agree with us but will when they talk to us and when we mobilize in mass numbers. So I wanted to, to say that at the beginning because I'm very proud to be part of a labor movement in Seattle that is taking this very seriously and is fighting and helping to lead the fight against the anti-worker, anti-immigrant, anti-trans, anti-climate, racist, xenophobic agenda of the Trump administration and not just the people who are in the White House but the people who hold power um, in Olympia and elsewhere. I'll tell you a quick story about what's been happening on campus uh, my union, UAW Local 4121, which represents about 4,500 student workers at UW, uh, graduate and undergraduate instructors and researchers, has been working with um, our campus union coalition, which includes SEIU 925, um, WFC 1488, WSNA, SEIU 1199, and others. Um, in December, after the Trump election, we delivered a demand to the University of Washington to push them to make this a true sanctuary campus. Uh, not a sanctuary campus just in name, but a sanctuary campus in action. Um, we collaborated with faculty, we collaborated with student groups to ensure the provision of resources for legal, health, and housing costs, um, to ensure non-collaboration with ICE, and to protect the privacy of not only our members, but all students and workers on campus who were being targeted by the administration. And after the executive orders were issued uh, by the Trump administration on January 27th, we immediately mobilized. We joined with Shama and many of you, I think, uh, in the airports, in those tremendous airport actions. <clears throat> that we're, we're and need to continue to be the spark for the type of progressive change that we need to see in this country. We also participated with the Attorney General's office in filing the lawsuit that brought the Trump executive orders to a halt, but we need to understand that the, the beginning of that was the mobilizations. Nationwide, tens of thousands of people immediately turning out to the airports to resist those actions was the single most important thing that we could have done and that we must continue to do if we want to bring this agenda to an end. 
We have now made a demand to bargain with the university to modify our collective bargaining agreement so that our international student members that are being targeted by these exec executive orders will receive the support and accommodation and resources that they need. But we're not ending there. Um, a month ago, our members passed a resolution to um, hold a vote uh, in support of strike action on May 1st. I um, want to thank SEA and want to thank the other unions who have, have supported a similar resolution uh, at, the, at the King County Labor Council. And um, we are ready. We are ready for deep organizing. We are ready for large majority participation. And we're going to see you in the streets on May 1st. Thanks.